What is going on, everyone? All right. The long-awaited Makoko Boot Camp criteria has just arrived in the patch notes. I haven't had the chance to read it yet, so let's review the patch notes together and then talk about it. So, okay. First of all, it's short. Really, really short. So that's, that's interesting. All right, well, it starts off with the good part. I see. Makoko Boot Camp event. So here we go. So it runs... So, wow! Basically all of November... All of December and half of January, January 15th. So that's much longer than I thought. It would be insane if there were weekly rewards for this stuff then. I know that would be a game changer. Uh, let's see. Okay, nice. So anyone that is below item level 1660 is considered a new and returning player, it seems. They are the ones that get the green leaf, green leaf Makoko players. And also, everybody remember that the green leaf is a 300,000 gold value. Ah, wait, okay, okay. So there are some conditions, as there are, always are, right? It would be silly to consider a new player as just less than 1660. So the first criteria, so one, one of the following conditions, you just have to meet one. A new account that has been created within the event period. Okay, so pretty simple enough. Anyone who makes an account starting tomorrow, is in which case if that makes sense uh here accounts that have been created within 60 days before the event start date okay so this is pretty much grabbing all the new players that you know first started in ignite and just within two months and such and uh any accounts with a previous login date over 60 days before the event start date okay so this one addresses the returning players, right? Who want to give Lost Ark another chance. People who already have established characters in the past, but haven't played for two months yet. Hmm. What do I think about this? So, I mean, they're, they're both, both the new and returning players are being addressed here. However, I think that this just addresses the new players more than the returning players. These are the new ones, and then this is the returning. Right? These are the people who actually created a character or an account in the past. Don't the returning players just get F'd here? The people who actually gave the game a chance before all these good systems came out and now they get punished for it? Especially if those returning players played on Ignite, then they don't qualify, right? Because they need to have not played for over 60 days. Like, this, this is actually hilarious. Who came up with these conditions? AGS, please, I can help you. Just give me the notes even one day before, and I will peer review this for free. Like, this is not acceptable. Yes, it's helping the new players. But honestly, how many new players are there even, right? I wish I could know the analytics for this because I already know they probably analyzed the data and they decided on this two month threshold. But they are effectively screwing over all the returning players who gave the game a chance in Ignite that are having a blast, by the way, but will get gatekept real, real soon with the transfers to Legacy. We all know this. AGS knows this. That's the whole point of this Mokoko Bootcamp event, right? And you're telling me that they just have to suck it up? Ain't no way. We need this changed ASAP. I personally think they need to include something like roster level threshold for the returning who came back but still don't have all the good stuff like a high roster level, LOS 30, demon damage, whatever. All the things that veterans have and what veterans gatekeep on. Or they could do something like total playtime. Have these avenues not even been looked into? Like, well, just just a straight up, just, oh, like, you couldn't have logged in for two months. So if you did Ignite Server, well, goodbye, bye-bye. Like, this is this is crazy, in my opinion. I Because I, I can't imagine, first of all, how many brand new characters there will be. How many people are actually going to be playing this game new? Like, I have no idea. And also, also, what about bots? They will benefit from this, no? 
Like, I know bots have been much less, less of a problem now, so props to you, AGS. But this just seems to benefit brand, brand new players and bots. If they really wanted to fix the gatekeeping, it would definitely have to be addressing and helping the returning players. New players probably are still learning the game at that point, right? They don't need help in Thaymine. They're too busy running around with their little legs around Arkesia, which is what they should be doing. And you should let them do that. Okay, anyway. Uh, so it uh, it looks like once you hit 1660, it's GG, which makes sense, right? It's a, it's a pretty high item level. So no more incentives for A gear, but a ton of incentives for all the other raids. And that will be interesting to see. Uh, let's see. Let's keep reading here. Do, 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 do. Okay. Oh, interesting. So they get weekly rewards. Or we, everybody gets re weekly rewards. That's awesome. I just hope, I really hope there's a lot of advertising going on for Lost Ark. Because I seriously wonder how many people fit this criteria. Right? I don't know how many people will, will be playing within two months. I have no idea. How many people they have from who started just purely off of Ignite server, right? Or people who will start now. That's ugh. They're, they're not even going to be needing this, like the, the all the raid stuff right now. That's crazy. They need to be helping the returning players. Um, oh, I, I mean, because I know most of my viewers don't satisfy this criteria, right? A lot of people don't satisfy this criteria, but they really need it. All my viewers, they really need this Makoko event, and they don't, they don't qualify. And also, new players probably aren't even watching my videos yet, to be honest, right? Yet. And so they probably have no idea what any of this means. They're not going to know anything. But okay, let's keep going. Ignite server transfer. Okay, so you can transfer now, but you have to. You can wait up to November 27th. Okay, we, know, we knew this. So everybody, just quickly, do not freak out about transferring now. If you don't want to, you have it up until November 27th. That's a full month. Don't transfer if you don't want to. I hope everybody knows that. But yeah, everything else, it seems like stuff that we already know. Uh, but okay, okay, wait, there, there's another link here. Let's see, the transfer experience, the merge policies. Let's see. Oh, okay, okay. So what this shows here is uh, a little bit more clarity on the transfer process. So if you have any questions about what gets transferred over, it tells you basically everything here. So make sure you check this document out. But yeah. Uh, that was the end of this patch notes. It's a bit of a bummer. It's really short. And it this this is some terrible criteria in my opinion. I mean, the first two, I get it, right? New players. But come on, you, you have to help the re returning. You have to. It's super awesome for the new players, though. I can't wait to see all the Makoko green leaf seeds everywhere. But, I mean, I wonder how many there are, but I can't wait to see. I will be helping you all out a lot. So if you are a new player and you satisfy this criteria, make sure to check out my streams. Go on the Discord. I will be making sure that you guys know when I stream and help you all out. So be in tune for that. But yeah, that's it for the patch notes. Bit of a bummer for the returning players. But yeah, I, I this is, this is ugh, whatever. All right, well, that's it. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Pineapple Gang type rip returning, I guess. RIP returning. Because this is GG for some of the returning players. Not some, most of the returning players out there. So, Oh well. All right, returning players, 07. I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.